Welcome to Linguish! I'm going to show you how to drill using TPR. So we are in London. Big Ben. Big Ben. Big Ben. Big Ben. Good. Great, everyone. The I. Everyone? The I. The I. The I. Good. Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace. Good. Very good. Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace. Who lives in Buckingham Palace? The Queen. Perfect. Good. Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge. Good. Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge. Excellent. Good. So we have four places in London. So we are about to visit London. What will we see? We will see the Tower of London, the Eye, the Tower Bridge. Let's look at the Tower of London and we'll look at their age. 940 years. They are older. The London Eye is 135 meters tall or high. So we could say the London Eye is taller than the Tower Bridge. Taller. that we visited the Tower Bridge, Buckingham Palace. We can see that they are very big, good, very big. Now we visit the museum, the Arsenal Stadium and Harrods. We can see that they are more visited. They are more visited. Seven million people. For an example, we'll take the Tower of London, the Tower of London, is, is older, older than the London Eye. There you go. Now we're ready to play Super Trump. See you later. Good. Hey Ben, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Are you ready to play Super Trump? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so you can only look at the card that's face towards you. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna start. Wow, you win my card. Oh, okay. Now you take both cards and you put them at the back of your deck. Okay, perfect. Okay, and the first person to get all the cards is the winner. Okay, great. Good, easy, your Good. turn. Uh, my place is 15 meters big. Mine is bigger, it's 100 meters. Oh, you can't. Mm. Oh, we dropped oh, it! We dropped oh it! Oh my gosh, okay. it's the globe. Okay, great. Okay. My place is 147 years old. Ah, my place is 158 years old. It's older, darn. Yes, it's older. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Uh, my place has 1,500,000 visitors. My place has six million visitors. Six million visitors? It's more visited than it yours. <laughs> is more visited, yes. Thank wow. You. My place has 10 million visitors a year. 
<laughs> my place has 700,000 visitors only. It's less. <laughs> Visited, thank mm. you. My place is 419 years old. Uh, my place is 158 years old. Mine's older. Yes. Ooh, ooh I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my place is 257 years old. Ah, uh, my place is 147 years yes! old. Yes! You win. Uh, I win. Nice. Thank you, Ben. Well, that was a good game. I liked Did it. Did you like that? Yeah, I like yeah, that. that was great. Good. Okay, Ben, are you ready to play How to Get To? Uh, yes. Yes. Definitely. Okay. So we are in London. Okay. Around, and I'm going to give you directions from Buckingham Palace. Okay. To Harrods. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Ready? Yes. Go straight. Stop. Take a left. Take a right, go straight, Ooh. stop, did we do it? Let's look. I don't look. know, can I look? Are you at Harrods? Hey, hey perfect, nice. Good, Let's... so this same game can play, be played within a classroom. You blindfold the children and their team indicates, you can put the these different cards around the classroom and the teams have to indicate to their team player how to get there, but they're blindfolded. And you get a nice hat. Exactly. Welcome back to London. Yes, we are going to do the numbered head structure with the London information. Now, numbered head structure can be used, it's a cooperative learning structure. The goal behind numbered head heads is to get the children to cooperate together in a small team and to answer a question or to, to do a challenge, basically. Now, what's important about numbered heads is to get them to work as a team and to make sure that they discuss things and that everyone comes to the same conclusion. So, you can have, over here I've prepared some questions, the kids don't see these, but you can set up the team, you can have as many teams as you want, they could be colors, they could pick out names, but the most important part is that they actually have numbers. Each person has a number. Um, you want to try to have the same amount of numbers in each team. You could have a team of teams of five, you could have teams of three, you could have teams of two, it doesn't matter. But you try to keep the same amount of, of people on each team. Now, in this case, we I would uh, I would set up the teams give out the numbers so every child has their number. Either you could write it on their hand or you could give them a, a, a color card. And next, I would explain to them that they can um, talk amongst each other to get the right answer and only the person whose number is called actually gives the answer. Another question. Everyone, ready? Listen. Where do you see animals in London? Where do you see See animals in London. Okay, everyone, huddle, huddle, huddle. You give them about a minute to talk about it, then you call out again. Pick a different team this time to start. Okay, black team. Where do you see animals in London? Oh, in Harrods. Maybe. Okay, blue team. In the London Zoo. Okay. Okay, number two of the red team. The London Zoo. Possibly. Okay, number two of the gray team, Harrods. Okay, so we have two Harrods and two London Zoo. You see animals in the London Zoo. Perfect. The black team has two, the red team has two and the game continues on and the teams accumulate points answering um, questions about London. Very important to give full answers so that they understand how the language works, their linguistic objectives, and that's it. Enjoy Numbered Heads!